uh, others for, for, for from living a decent life. Heaven forbid they should be happy as an American citizen. Can Ooh. we all say Walmart? Who yes. forces their employees to live off the dole instead of paying them a decent wage? Listen, I gotta say something. and Listen carefully. Capitalism has always been the devil's economics and has always been rigged for the rich only because the whole concept of buying low and selling high is a dishonest way of life. And favoring the guy with capital. Deception. You've, you've heard of the carnival uh, snake oil salesman story? Hey, step right up, step right up. They, they, under conservatives, they are allowed to lie. If you're in business, you're allowed to lie and deceive your customers. And then if you get ripped off, they go, oops, let the buyer beware. Members yeah. of both chambers, regardless of political ideology, must do the right thing. Let's see if Christie's bipartisanism can really work in this state. Okay. All right. That should do it. Right? One more? This is interesting. For the road. Oh, one of those. Go ahead. No, no, that's just not. All right, it's just interesting. It's only at, uh, like six after four. You you want to bang it up? No, yeah, read that. Let's play it by ear. I, I want to try to do this one and this other one here. Two animal ones. Okay. A state-sanctioned hunt on public lands for invasive... Burmese pythons is about to end. End? I thought they wanted to get rid of them. The month-long python challenge ends today. As of Friday, 102 pythons had been caught since the competition began on January 16th. That's a lot of uh, pythons, a uh, snake skin for handbags and western boots. Kick the dust up. They're invasive, man. They're even they're even killing alligators. They're, yeah. they're and and people's pets. I'm telling you. And you know what happened was uh, uh, way back when Hurricane Andrew uh, kind of let them loose from a uh, from captivity. The uh, the. Uh the hell do you call it where they keep the end? The zoo. Yeah. The zoo. Yes. Went underwater. Yeah. And 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 some of Florida's uh, actually many of Florida's endangered species are further endangered by the Burmese python. Researchers believe tens of thousands of pythons may be slithering through the Everglades. I thought they died from the frost. Remember that year Florida had a bad frost? That had cold temperatures, that that killed off the the citrus fruits. I thought it would kill off the Burmese pythons. Decimating native <laughs> mammal populations. There you go. The first public python hunt in 2013 netted 68 snakes. Cool temperatures. More training appeared to help this year's hunters who are competing for prizes awarded for the longest python and the most snakes captured. Now you got to set up easy bait for them, you know, um, um, rabbits, uh, um, uh, um, domesticated uh, lab rats, you know, you got you to you gotta bait them out. The hunt's final tally will be announced at the awards ceremony February 27. They're going to give out awards for the most pythons collected? Yeah. All the snakes captured were killed and turned over to researchers trying to find clues to help control the python population. They don't need all those pythons for research. That, those are skins that could be sold. You got to give these the them dar hunters an incentive for going after the them dar pythons. I say there, son. I say. I say. 
All right, you got one more animule. Yes, this is it. Reading. Researchers say they found an answer to the long standing question of where Maine's Atlantic puffins spend the winter. Cute bird. They're chubby, you know, everything. They're just like a. They're cute. Far off New Jersey. Puffins? And New York. Puffins in New Jersey? Puffins are the colorful seabirds of the auk family, A U K. They do have an auk like appearance. That are graceful in the water. Whatever the hell that is. And awkward on land and the air. The great auk is extinct. Really? There was a bird called the great. I wonder if the dodo is. I think the dodo was an auk because it has the same type of beak. The birds spend the spring breeding season and summer in coastal areas before heading out to the open ocean waters in the autumn and the winter. It's amazing how they can fly. They look like they look like Chris Christie with a big beak. So wonder pelicans can fly. Pelicans have a, have a, 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 a large wingspan. You know, like an yeah. albatross, like an albatross. It's one of those. Um, you like that one, Chris Christie with a beak. The levity bells. But um, the National Audubon Society has described the exact winter locations of Maine's puffins as a long mystery. People hunt for them, believe it or not, in the Canadian Maritime provinces. And uh, um, they yeah. have like duck, duck. Feet. Yeah, well, they're seabirds. They have duck feet. They're chubby. Look, they have a penguin-like body. Yeah. They have a round, chubby face, and they have like a colorful beak, like a thick, small toucan beak. Yeah, like like a mini toucan. Yeah, yeah but more like thicker, like blunt. There, you do look them up if you've never seen pictures of them. They're they're very cute, actually. And uh, <coughs> but I, I'm surprised they migrated down here. But. Hmm. The organization said on Tuesday that locators recovered from 19 puffins in recent years show the birds spent a chunk of the winter several states away from Maine. The area most frequented by puffins in the winter was about 200 miles southeast of Cape Cod. And Stephen Cress, director of the Audubon Seabird Restoration Program, said the data showed puffins winter over underwater canyons and sea mountains in the Atlantic. Canyons. That's a French way of saying it, right? Audubon said its findings represent the first time the winter grounds of the main breeding Atlantic puffins have been mapped. It's an important discovery because puffins are a threatened species. Too bad uh, tea baggers weren't a threatened species too. <laughs> and data about their movements are needed to inform conservation efforts. I think they have the brains of an auk. Potential threats of commercial fishing, <laughs> offshore wind and climate change have prompted the need for information on the non-breeding movements and wintering locations of seabirds that nest in the Gulf of Maine. Atlantic puffins have a large total population estimated at more than 10 million. How can they be an endangered species at 10 million? That's a hell of a lot of puffins, man. Yeah. That's more... 10 million? Yeah. And they're endangered? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't sound endangered to me. Me either. They're from that area where I used to uh, buy the, um, I, uh, I used to buy these um, sardines uh, from a company called Port Clyde in Brunswick. They're from the, they, they, they like the maritime provinces. They 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 stay up in rocky cliffs and they dive, you know, for fish and potential threats of commercial fishing, offshore wind, climate change, that prompted the need for this information. Atlantic puffins. Have a large population, 10 million. But 
The International Union for Conservation of Nature says that population is declining. The bird is a favorite with bird watchers and tour groups and has been subject of vigorous conservation efforts in localized areas including Maine where there are about 1,000 pairs of muffins. Puffins. Muffins. Puffin muffins. Ah. Instead of a um, chicken pot pie or a beef pot pie, we'll have a... Uh, puffin muffin. Puffin muffins. Puffins nearly disappeared from the main coast because of hunting and egg collecting in the 19th century. Of course, over harvesting. You know. But have rebounded in the last four decades thanks to restoration efforts. Well, I declare this week's show to animal rights activism, uh, animal protection, and to animal endangered species conservation. Close! I, I hereby, this is the end of the show, by the way, I hereby dedicate the show to animals. Have a nice week. We'll see you again on Progressive Discussions. Now, our editor is going to give it one more shot to try to put this show into one mega video. But I can't promise you anything. But if it doesn't work, it'll just have to be in parts from now on. Not Purdue Prime parts, but video parts. All right, we'll see you.